Hello, I'm Erica Sewell. And I'm Margaret McKnight, and Beth Hoagland is with us in word and spirit. We are teachers here at South Shore. In the past 10 years, the Rivers to Lake program has had a wonderful influence on our entire school district. Many of our teachers have participated in this program. It has helped us build a culture of collaboration and support for environmental education. The program's commitment to supporting teachers is what sets it apart from other professional development programs. Through Rivers to Lakes mentoring, we've learned how to explore Lake Superior and our surrounding woods and wetlands. We've learned how to connect our curriculum standards to our local environment. The Rivers to Lakes staff have coordinated several meetings between our teaching staff and local environmental experts. This has led to partnerships and grant projects which have allowed our students to actively become stewards of our environment. The projects have allowed our students an opportunity to contribute to relevant environmental research and apply what they've learned in the classroom. Rivers to Lake has gone above and beyond expectation by teaching, encouraging, and inspiring us to bring our students to the outdoors and bring the outdoors to our classrooms. Thank you, Rivers to Lake. Thank you. My name is Ariel Johnson, and I was first introduced to the Rivers to Lake program as an intern for the program. It really opened my eyes as to what environmental education is and how it can support teachers and students in a formal school setting. The internship inspired me to pursue environmental education as a career. After graduating as an undergrad, I taught 7th through 11th grade science at the Fond du Lac Ojibwe School. The resources, skills, and mission I learned as an intern with the Rivers to Lake program were now being applied in my own classroom and on the trails and streams near the school. It gave my students hands-on experience and inquiry-based experiences that not only helped them learn science, but it also helped them connect with their land and their culture, as was the focus at the school. The Rivers to Lake program, from a teacher training perspective, really helped my skills in my own classroom. I felt that the outdoor experiences and place-based learning not only helped my students and I connect to place, but also to each other, and it helped the students reflect on their own place in the world. And these were common observations that I had as an intern and as a teacher, thanks to the Rivers to Lake program. It also helped inspire me to go back to school to pursue my master's in environmental education. I'm currently working on my master's thesis, which will study the connections between connecting youth to place and the holistic well-being and healing impacts it has for at-risk youth. My name is Phil Thoyne. I am a science teacher at Duluth Area Learning Center. I think as professional development goes, the R2L program really stands apart. I think having strong summer institute where we got a solid and wide background on the river and lakes and various program and curriculum ideas, connections made with other educators and just kind of getting to know the R2L staff and what they're all about. But then really like the, the ongoing cooperation and not just checking in, but stopping by and being totally present with us to help everything from brainstorming, troubleshooting, coming through, figuring out ideas, really a collaborative process that I thought was excellent. So I can't overemphasize how uniquely powerful and effective the R2L program was for us and for getting our school running on an environmental program. Hi, I'm Valerie Pointer and I teach 8th grade life science at Superior Middle School and I am a Rivers to Lake alum from the 1819 school year. To explain how Rivers to Lake has impacted me is a hard question to answer. Um, I have learned so much through that program about the Lake Superior watershed and the St. Louis River where you can see behind me. I have also had plenty of opportunities that I never would have known about before and experiences that I didn't know existed. If if it hadn't been for Deanna, Ryan, and the entire Rivers to Lake program, I would not have been able to pass on those experiences and opportunities to my students and to get them to love the outdoors. This past school year, I asked my students, what were your two favorite things about the school year? And over half of them said being outside was one of their top favorite things. So thank you Rivers to Lake for giving my students those opportunities.